Welcome, my dear students, to this lesson. My name is Belo Joshua, your agricultural science teacher. The topic for this lesson is cropping systems. What are cropping systems? Cropping systems refers to the order in which the crops are cultivated on a piece of land over a phase time. That is, the, the styles the farmers adopt in cultivating their crops. There are several types of cropping system, but the, the popular ones, especially that are common to our country, Nigeria, are these monocropping, mixed cropping, continuous cropping, and crop rotation. What is monocropping? Monocropping is the act or the system of growing only one type of crop, such as maize, cowpea, on a piece of land. That is, only one crop is cultivated on a piece of land at a time. This system involves planting any type of crop at all, but just one crop at a time. It can be maize. But the maize will be planted solely. Another word for this uh, type of cropping system is sole cropping. The principle is only one type of crop is planted at a time in a farmland. What are the advantages of this cropping system? It makes the use of mechanization possible. That is, it makes the use of machines in the farm possible. When only one type of crop is planted at a time, mechanization such as the use of machines to carry out weeding operation is easily carried out. When there are several crops planted on a feed, it makes the use of mechanization in the farm, that is the use of farm machines in carrying out farm operations, difficult. But if it's only one type of crop that is planted in the farm, it enable the use of farm mechanization. It leads to specialization among farmers. Another advantage of monocropping. When farmers participate in growing one type of crop over and over again, one season to another, they tend to become perfect. They tend to improve on the practice of growing that type of crop. They become specialized in that type of crop production. For instance, growing of cassava or growing of maize. When farmers do it over and over again, they become good at it. The control of weeds in the farm is easy with this method or this type of farming system. When you plant only one type of crop in a farm, for instance, it's, it, it, it makes spraying it with herbicides easy. When you spray with herbicides, you can make use of a selective herbicide. Take for instance, in a maize farm, when you pick a selective herbicide, it can kill every other weed in the farm, but will not affect the maize plant because it is selective for maize plant. But this is particularly carried out when only one type of crop is planted. If there are more, then the use of selective herbicides will be useless because it will affect the other type of crop. Also, controlling of weeds with the use of machines is also make it is also made easy. When only one type of crop is planted, the use of machines in carrying out weeding operation is made easy. What are the disadvantages? Of this cropping system. The 
first one is it does not afford the farmer a variety of crops. That is, the farmer does not have this choice of many crop products. What he plants is what he harvests. If a farmer grows pepper in the farm, for instance, he only gets pepper. He does not afford in a variety of other kind of crops. If he grows pepper, he only gets pepper fruits. On the other hand, if he grow tomatoes, for instance, now he will only harvest tomatoes, unlike mixed farming. If he grows yam, he only harvest yam tubers, unlike mixed farming. There are for the farmer variety of crops. Labor may not be efficiently utilized. The use of labor in mixed farming will enable labor to be efficiently used. But when it comes to monocropping, labor may not be efficiently utilized. Take for instance, when you hire laborers to weed the farm, they weed a particular farm where only one type of crop is sown. But if, it's, if it were to be mixed farming, several crops are sown there. Now, crop failure due to pests and diseases can result to a total loss. The failure of a particular type of crop can result to total loss for the farmer. This can be due to disease or pest attack, such as uh, worms, locusts, all these are destructive pests to plant. When they enter farmland, they can destroy the crops that are found there. A situation where a farmer only grows one type of crop, the loss of that crop results to total loss for the farmer. Monkeys are destructive pests to maize plants. A situation where a farmer plants only maize in a region where there are several uh, of this kind of pests available in that area, it can result to a total loss for the farmer. But if it were to be mixed farming, like monkeys for instance, do not attack yam. So this could have served as a compensation for the farmer. Mixed cropping is the heart of planting more than one type of crop on the same farmland at a time. This is opposite to soil cropping or mono cropping. And there are two forms of mixed cropping. There is interplanting and there is intercropping. I will explain them one after the other. When it comes to interplanting, a particular crop that is sown first or planted first before another one is also harvested before the last crop. Take for instance in this farm, yam is planted first and maize is planted last. Maize is harvested before yam. So that means maize is intercropped with yam. Maize being the last crop that is planted is still harvested first. In this instance, maize is planted before melon, but maize is equally harvested before melon. So maize is said to be interplanted with melon. If it is planted first and still harvested first, then it is interplanted with the other crop. If it is planted last and yet harvested first, it is said to be intercropped with the other crop. What are the advantages of this system? It affords the farmer a variety of crops. Mist farming, sorry, mist cropping affords the farmer a variety of crops. When a farmer plants several types of crops in the farm, he has this variety of options available to him. He can plant tomatoes, pepper, 
melon, maize, and so on. It provides insurance against the failure of one type of crop. When one particular type of crop fails, maybe due to disease attack or pest attack, farmer will get compensation for his effort, for his labor, with the rest of the crops that are planted on the farm. Take for instance, if tomatoes are planted with other crops and tomatoes are bad for this season, the farmer will be compensated from the products he will get from the other crops. If it is maize, he will get compensation from the other crop. It ensures efficient utilization of labor. This system of farming ensures efficient utilization of labor. If a farmer hired laborers to work in his farm, there are several crops present in that farm. The money he would have used to clear a large area of land, to weed a large area of farmland, can be used to weed a farmland that has several types of crops planted in it. It efficiently uses labor. What are the disadvantages? It does not encourage the use of machines in the farm. This system of farming, or of cropping rather, does not encourage the use of machines in the farm. This is an investor. It invests everything off the farm, investing of grains. Now, this, is, this particular machine cannot be used where there are up to two or three crops on the same farmland because it will invest everything together and some might not be mature yet. So this system of farming discourages the use of machines in the farm. It is labor intensive. This is demanding in terms of labor. There is need for enough manpower to be able to practice the system of cropping. It requires a lot of labor. There is need to employ more ends in carrying out the activities in a maize farm. It is equally tiring to the farmer himself. Maize cropping is a labor-intensive cropping system. It leads to rapid exhaustion of soil nutrients. Mist cropping, since there are several types of crops planted together on the same farmland, it depletes the soil nutrients readily. The soil tends to lose its fertility with time. After continuous cropping, planting more than one type of crop in the same farmland, it tends to deplete the nutrients of the soil as time goes on. The nutrients that are present in the soil is limited and concurrent use or planting of mist crop depletes the soil. Thank you for watching. Our next class will be on continuous cropping and crop rotation. This is still a continuation of this topic. Goodbye. And I will see you in the next lesson.